more homes for sale in the Denver metro area could mean more options for home buyers still struggling with higher prices and those interest rates. The Denver Metro Association of Realtors reports that nearly 46% more homes were on the market at the end of February compared to the same time last year. Nine News real estate expert Lane Lyon joins us this morning with a closer look. Lane is also a realtor and managing broker at Coldwell Banker. Thanks for coming in. Hello, good morning, Corey. Thanks for having me on. This is really interesting because we know springtime is typically when we see a lot of homes mm -hmm. go on the market, but we're already seeing it. We are, and a big reason for that mortgage rates continues to be a major driver in the housing industry. And we have to think about what happened at the end of 2023. We started to see those rates tick back down. And I think, Corey, a lot of homeowners out there thought, I need to step up my plans yeah. and get on the market a little bit earlier. And so we've seen some of that activity happening right now. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of those numbers that you were just talking about from DMAR. This is in February, and there's that 45.8% wow. number that you, you were talking about. That's standing inventory at the end of February. So that's up significantly from last year. Listings that came on the market in February also up 22%. But if you're hoping that this supply issue will lead to lower prices in Denver. Yeah, sorry, think again. <laughs> the average close price was up 3% compared to last year, so we'll take that. Homeowners will be glad to see that. And the days on the market are starting to tick down, which we tend to see in the springtime as well. So I think the main thing to remember here, Corey, if you see headlines about inventory going up, is to be cautious and read a little bit more because a lot of us remember 2008 and oh, 2009. Yeah. We saw all that inventory come on the market and what happened? And prices went way down. Mm -hmm. We are not, I repeat, not in that situation. <laughs> Remember the years 2021 and 2022? How could we forget? We had nothing to sell. Right. We had no inventory. So as we see year over year that we're rebuilding our inventory, I think it's a good stabilizing move. Uh, as much as we love those really high prices that sellers were getting, uh, we just really don't want to go through that again yeah. because a lot of buyers got frustrated. Are these trends just in Colorado? Across the country, wow. we're seeing an increase of inventory, and I think it's just really everyone waiting to see when these mortgage rates start to change and ease up a little bit. Places in the south, major cities like Orlando, Tampa, Miami, seeing the highest increases of homes coming on the market right now. But the optimism there is that that may lead to more homes that are less expensive, which we could use a few more of here in Denver. So if you have one, yeah. please let us know. Boy, is that true. <laughs> okay, so talk about that homeowner who's planning to sell this season and hearing that they're already going to have competition. Yeah, they're, some of their neighbors may already be on the market. And I would say understand the buyer of 2024. These are buyers who have done their homework. They are savvy negotiators. So I would say plan on a negotiation for your price, closing costs to buy down that interest rate. They're working with realtors and mortgage advisors who understand all of this. Uh, also, negotiation at inspection as well. We are still in a mode where buyers say, look, as much as I'm paying per month for this house, I don't really want a lot of repairs mm -hmm. after the fact. Right. So I would say get yourself ready for that. And Corey, make sure you're priced well, because the truth is no one wants to watch their neighbor go off the market in a couple of days and we're doing price drops for two months. Uh, buyers know what the values are and they're sticking to them. Question for you. I know you ha don't have a crystal ball to see in the future, but what are you seeing potentially when it comes to mortgage rates? They're super high still. Yeah. What are you seeing in trends? And they're, they're ticking up a little bit right now, as a matter of fact, but a lot of the experts say, wait till summer. Okay. We could start to see things ease up a little bit if inflation starts to behave. The election t period is a typically time we start to see rates come down. Doesn't matter who wins or loses. People kind of put the, push the pause button and then it all comes back. So I would say late in the year is when we're going to start to see things really move. But when that happens, uh, we plan on prices going up. There's so a light at tuned. the end of the tunnel, though, oh, for yes. anyone who Refinancing went will be something we're talking about, Corey. Good. So stay tuned for that segment. <laughs> Good, Lane, thank you. Let's get a check of the